Meet Andy Frost, a 45-year-old automatic transmission specialist and creator of... Red Victor One. This has a 9.3 litre V8. It's got 2,200 brake horsepower and does 0 to 60 in one second. That's one second. Still not impressed? Watch this. The McLaren F1 can do the quarter mile in 11.1 seconds. This does it in 7.8. A record! Wow, this is serious. So let's get one thing straight. Why a 1972 Vauxhall Victor, which, let's face it, is about as aerodynamic as that. Hmm, that's fair comment, really. Uh, just why not? It just, it was a car that really appealed to me, the shape. I loved it, the Coke bottle shape. It looked American. I wanted to do one. You've had it a long time. Yeah, since 1981. Originally, it was bought as a family car for 60 quid. After respraying it, Andy then swapped the four-cylinder engine for a six-cylinder, then for a Rover V8, then for a Chevy V8, then fitted Nitrous, and two turbos. Things got really serious when he added some stickers. But the most amazing fact of it all is, it's street legal. I have the MO2 certificate here. It does indeed, you're not lying. And it's tax exempt. And tax exempt. Pre-1973. <coughs> so it's all, it's all free, which is really good. So, ballpark figure, how much do you think this car owes you? Hmm, I'd say probably in the region of 100 grand. 100,000 pounds, that's quite a lot of money. Uh, yeah, it's over a period of years, but it's pretty good value when you think it is the world's fastest street legal car for 100 grand. Compared to a Bugatti Veyron? for £850,000. That is pretty good value. It is quite good value. <clears throat> In an acceleration stakes, the Bugatti Veyron would be just a long, long way back. Toast. Toast, but I wouldn't swap this for a Bugatti Veyron, that's for sure. Probably because it couldn't do this. So what makes it so fast? Well, a beautifully crafted engine with two enormous turbos certainly help. But this isn't just lots of fast bits slung together. It's 9.3 litres of perfectly tuned V8. Just a millimetre of throttle is enough to break the speed limit. You probably find it's not that easy to get in. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Luxury, luxury is not its fine point. No. no. During everyday motoring, Red Victor 1 returns about 5 miles to the gallon. Fuel stops are a regular thing. So, how easy is it to actually drive this thing? Really easy. Just as easy as any other car. It's just the fact that you have to be aware that you've got 2,000 odd horsepower under your foot if you put it down. Give it a squirt. <laughs> that is naughty. Just driving this car on the road just feels completely perverse. It must be quite a strange feeling driving along on the road knowing that there is not one car that can beat us. Yeah, it is. All this fun comes at a cost. After every use, Andy likes to spend a couple of hours inspecting the engine. And of course, running an expensive project like this means Andy's family have had to make a lot of sacrifices. Although one family member doesn't worry. Being collected from school in the world's quickest road car, how cool a dad is that? The black country doesn't have that much to celebrate, but I'd suggest this homemade, world-beating car is Wolverhampton's Sistine Chapel. I guess I'll, uh, I'll, I'll walk them. 
Can you believe that? You've got mighty corporations spending millions building things like the Bugatti Veyron, yeah? And then you've got some fella in his shed in Wolverhampton <laughs> knocking up a car which goes faster. I know. Can you believe that? No, not really. I salute British craftsmanship. Well done, Mr Frost. Now